Uh, Greg Dorsey here. It's Monday, June 13th at leave.com, L-E-E-B.com. Well, after six consecutive weeks of declines, a drop of 6.6% or so on the S&P 500 and more than 10% on the uh, small caps that make up the uh, Russell 2000, you would think that stocks would be ready for uh, a bounce. Uh, but that was not the case today. Uh, moreover, while stocks are becoming uh, overbought, there's still plenty of room for them to fall further before uh, a bottom is reached. Uh, particularly hard hit today were commodities and their related stocks. Uh, also in the red were treasury bonds. Uh, much of the selling today in stocks had to do with uh, economic data coming out of China, where loan growth slowed more than expected, uh, prompting fears that rather than a slowdown, that country is headed for uh, a hard land. Uh, we would caution against jumping onto this particular bandwagon, however. Uh, the country's official consumer price index is likely to be strong again this month, uh, but don't expect uh, much more in the way of credit tightening. Uh, much of, of that inflation is food-related, and in particular due to rising hog prices. Uh, but China's CPI is disproportionately weighted towards food, even though food expenditures are far less uh, important today that for the average consumer than they were uh, two decades ago when income levels were much lower. Uh, moreover, while uh, the, the, the Chinese have made uh, lending more costly in urban areas, officials are once again actually easing in the countryside. Last week, for instance, they announced a new, uh, very generous, uh, let's call it a cash for clunk clunkers program, uh, offering to pay up to uh, 18,000 yuan or, or nearly 2,800 U.S. dollars for vehicles that are between 6 and 15 years old that uh, will be scrapped this year. Now, that's a huge number in a country where the nominal per capita GDP is a little more than 3,700 U.S. dollars. Uh, the program will serve to cut emissions and get less fuel-efficient vehicles off the road, but more importantly, it will spur sales of goods in general, including new autos. Uh, rather than a hard landing, China is likely headed for slower growth, but still growth in the high single digits. Uh, as for commodities and stocks here in the U.S. in the near term, keep an eye on the dollar. If the greenback falls, commodities and stocks will take off again. And if the dollar strengthens, strengthens further, uh, stocks and commodities will uh, likely continue to struggle. Uh, that's all for now. Be sure to stop by later this week because we'll have plenty more for you.